All right, so how do you calculate the selling price of food? And how much should I mark up food when I sell it, Damien? These are two great questions I got from some subscribers. And we're going to go over those two subscriber questions. I'm going to show you a huge resource if you're not familiar with Shopify on how to sell food on Shopify and figuring out exactly the calculating price for your food. And we're going to dive into that right now. All right, guys, so welcome back to Marketing Food Online. So if this is your first video, welcome to Marketing Food Online. I'm Damian Roberti, founder and CEO of Marketing Food. If you are brand new, definitely hit that subscribe button. We have over a thousand videos for you, the food entrepreneur. I had three questions I wanted to dive into really quick in this uh, really quick video for Shopify. Um, two of the questions were, how do you calculate your selling price of food and how much should I mark up food when I'm looking to sell it online? And I actually found a fantastic resource. It's actually through Shopify. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you a little bit on my screen here how this calculator works and down below this video I'll have a link that'll take you right over to our website to get you directly to this link so you can actually check out this calculator for your own food product so if you're not familiar with Shopify really quick let me show you some great benefits I actually have two stores on Shopify uh, on marketingfoodonline.com and we have food biz USA which is our uh, generic website that we actually do a lot of our teaching and training on uh, through Shopify as well so what we have right here is Shopify's got three different types, three different levels. Uh, the one that we actually use that's really sufficient for what we do because of the size of our store is the basic Shopify, which is $29 a month. Okay. Now you can get the Shopify that is the next one up and then advanced Shopify. The last two, if you're really just starting out, honestly, you want to stay away from because you don't necessarily need that big of a store just yet. I'd recommend you check out the basic ones if you're not familiar with it. And again, if you want to check out, they have a 14 day free trial, by the way, you can check that link out down below the video. So let me show you really quick on how to do this. Shopify is a fantastic platform, by the way, to sell food of any kind. If you're looking to sell candy, if you're looking to sell cupcakes, baked goods, if you're looking to even sell through stuff through cottage food from home and you want to sell locally, you can even tap into Shopify. If you're a food truck, even you can even tap into their POS system and their website and integrate all of that together. The big thing about Shopify that's really great is the amount of apps that they have, which increases the functionality and features of your website. That's why we love it so much. And that's why we use it for the two sites that we have. Now, here is their little price calculator. Now, this is actually dedicated specifically to food profit margin calculator. This thing is awesome and it's instantaneous. It's quick. It doesn't take much time to obviously do this, but it's going to give you a really good understanding of how to price your products. And now let me give you a few tips though. After we put our, our numbers in here, I'm going to go ahead and calculate the profit, but you have to be aware of a couple of things. Number one, if you're going to take into consideration your fees that you're going to have, you're going to have a transaction fee. Of course, any platform you sell on online, you're going to have a transaction fee. Take that into consideration. That could be two, three, four percent or even higher of the transaction. OK, so when you see this and you see your actual profit, keep that in mind that you may need to increase the actual per transaction amount. That's something I recommend to a lot of clients when I do my consulting business is just that you don't want to sell a product for like three, four, five, six dollars, because to be honest with you, you're going to get eaten up in fees. Um, you also got to keep in mind Shopify charges, as I showed you, the twenty nine dollar a month fee. So that's a fee right off the bat, no matter how much you sell. Plus any other fees that you may have involved, such as storage of inventory, employee payroll, paying yourself, all of these things are things you need to take into consideration. So let me show you how this works. This is a fee calculator right here. Very simple cost of your item. I'm going to create some generic ideas. Okay. So this costs me $5 to make and the margin, I want to mark it up 50%. You hit calculate profit and you're good to go. So it actually shows you your sale price. You need to be at around seven fifty. You're going to make two fifty um, your profit per unit and then your gross margin is going to be 33.33 percent cool fantastic now here's what i would recommend most of the average selling amounts for us on our, our platforms for our candy and snacks and all of it it's between around 28 to 32 35 dollars okay so the reason being is that i know for a fact that there are some items that sell less and some that sell much much more but our average customer spends over 30 dollars per transaction there's a reason as i just mentioned you want to make sure that you're making enough money on each transaction to obviously make it profitable because every transaction is going to have a multitude of other expenses. Like I said about the fees for the transaction, if you're using PayPal or Stripe or even Shopify payments, you want to make sure when you start selling food on Shopify that you're marking up your product so it's actually profitable. So $5 items, you know, this is not going to make it what you need. So how do you do that, Damien? You want to make sure that you bundle your products. One of the best ways to increase a per transaction amount is going to be through bundling. So let's say here, right here, instead of $5, what if we went to $35? Just 
sorry, cost of items is five dollars, and we wanted to get it up. Let's go to a hundred percent markup. Okay, so the markup percentage is going to be a hundred percent. So you're going to sell this five dollar item for ten, right? So let's say if we want to go, we want to mark it up three hundred percent. So there we go. So your sell price is going to put you at around twenty dollars for the cost of a five dollar item. You're going to make a profit of $15 on the transaction. Now, if that is obviously something that's uh, applicable for your product, then now you know, and you're going to be making a 75% margin. Okay. So now let's go up uh, maybe 500% on it. There we go. So now an item that cost me $5, I'm going to charge 30 and I'm going to make 25 on. Now, Damien, that sounds like crazy. It's 83% margin. Believe it or not, online, when it comes to specialty food products, it's not. There's some products that we actually make that we um, cost us around two twenty five two fifty. We charge twenty four ninety nine for. And let me show you that two fifty. And let's just say that was that. All right, so we're going to go up around seven hundred percent. That's going to even put it wow. So we're at about eight hundred percent, and that's going to put your sale price around twenty two fifty. It's actually a little bit more than that. So we make around $20 per unit of that particular product because we make it to order and it's very inexpensive to make. So this is a great calculator specifically for food. If you're looking to find out how much of a margin and how much you should sell for, just keep in mind, as I mentioned, those other fees because they will eat up any profit that you may have. So thank you to the two subscribers for sending in those questions on how do you calculate the selling price of food? And of course, how much should I mark up my food product? I hope that answers you guys' question. And if it does, please do give us a big thumbs up. If you have any other questions about pricing a product, specifically food products, please let us know down below. And I'll hop on your questions as soon as I can. I'll see you guys on our next video.